Hey, what is going on guys? Equinox here, and welcome back to the Graveyard Shift. Today, I've got my first video on the subject of my favorite game, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I've been getting into this game competitively for a while now, and I've discovered something that might interest some people, specifically my fellow Snake Mains. As I myself am a Snake Main, I love the way his style plays and I love his tech. If I were to say my least favorite things about him, are his recovery and his matchups, specifically one of the following two, Marth and Rob. Now, I've always hated Marth as a matchup in Brawl. All the other characters I've ever made in the game seem to have a problem countering Marth. Snake, in particular, gets juggled too much. But my real problem with him is how he plays. I cannot comprehend how damn simple he is. He is literally just sing swinging his sword around. It's not that hard to get. But for some reason, Marth has always been my worst matchup on any map besides FD, which makes the matchup a 50-50 scenario. Until now, I've found the character who in the right hands is the most annoying character in Brawl. That character is Meta Knight. I'm just kidding, it's Rob. I've never seen a skilled Rob player, but that's mostly because I don't watch footage like I should. Now, I used to play Rob in Smash 4 before I realized Brawl is the alpha male game. I also played Little Mac, but Rob is different. Obviously. The reason I don't like Smash 4 is because every hit feels either unneeded or like it didn't matter. In the words of Relax Lax, a Canadian YouTuber, every hit in Smash 4 feels like it's being inputted into another controller. In other words, I feel like you are not in the game. That's the biggest reason I didn't like Smash 4, but there are four characters I did play that I played for the reason that it felt like I was in the game. Link, Little Mac, Luigi, and Rob. He felt so good to play in Smash 4. While unfortunately I do not play Rob in Brawl due to the fact that I am solo maining Snake, he still feels that way in the predecessor to Smash 4. His playstyle is identical to Smash 4 save for the glide tossing and such. If I were to put my opinion in on how the Snake vs. Rob matchup would go, I would say 40-60 in Rob's favor, due to my lack of skill when it comes to mind gaming the opponent, and my hard-headed handle when it comes to using my grenades as expendables to keep my opponent at bay. Literally took me two games to figure out my opponent in Fury, link to his YouTube in the description, was just going to punish me with laser every time I tried to grenade camp him. I would say C4 is by far the best way to handle Rob if you are trying to camp him. Mines are useless. I would say tilts are also equally as viable as C4 as Rob is meant to be medium range, while Snake is built much better for close range than our robot friend. But I think I discovered a nice way of dealing with Rob in 2018. I've never heard of this, but I bet it's been done in tourney multiple times. I'm gonna call it carpet bombing. Usually when a snake is above you, he will toss a Nikita if he's really high, usually a C4, and a fuck ton of wave bounce grenades until they hit the ground safely away from you. But in the Rob matchup, getting to the ground is so hard because of his up airs and back airs. Carpet bombing is almost exactly what it sounds like. You're laying bombs out like carpets, slathering up the opponent in them and leaving them little options. In order for your opponent to deal with this, they must do one of two things. Read what you're going to do and where you're going, or counterpick Meta Knight. Kill me. This tech works on any stages with platforms, but specifically works the best on Lilat. Oh my god, you want to pick Lilat for an actual use other than fucking up your noob 11 year old cousin because the ledges are garbage? Yeah, you want to pick it because they banned FD in Battlefield. No, seriously, this tech works the best on Lilat, but it can only really work on another stage if the stage is Battlefield. Now, how this tech works is a combination of mix-ups and Snake's landing techniques using C4 and nades. Now, while it is simple against Rob, I don't know if it'll work good against any other characters like Rob or any other characters on the roster in general. Basically, this tech is all a mind game. It's all about keeping your opponent guessing and stacking their percent while keeping yours low. Usually you want to have the low ground and the matches snake as your aerials are fucking garbage. But to do this, you need to be on one of the three platforms on Lilat or Battlefield. Now all you want to do is jump from platform to platform using your nade and C4 mix-ups. This is utterly effective, giving, your, giving you air away from Rob and laying down nades he must avoid to keep his percent low. I don't know why this is so crazy, but it works. 
I guess it's because of the low frames on Snake's nade shields drop when he hits the ground, so you can just keep hopping around with the nade in your hand and on the ground. This tech might make your opponent so focused on you that they could forget about the C4 right smack dab in the middle of Lilat and get blown up either by the detonation or the 27 second self-destruction. This tech is not groundbreaking, as no new techs will probably be in Brawl but it is an effective way to confuse and irritate your rob opponents. I'll be using this on some other characters to see how effective it is. Either way, I hope to see some variation upon this new tech mix-up you can use to fuck around with your non-aerial opponent. I'm going to be hoping to put out some more Brawl content soon, so be looking forward to that. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and please share this with the rest of the Brawl community and your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Equinox. Out.